Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Eco. We're doing a little hunting today. Generic B opened up a... Ooh, can I... Ah, oh, that one bounced off. Anyway, <laughs> Generic B opened up a food shop, and... You can get really good food there, which is great for leveling up your character and getting skill points. However, it's kind of expensive. Um... So, I'm trying to catch some elk, because I can trade... If I can trade in a couple elk carcasses, I can get a fair amount of food, um, and get my skill point gain pretty high. I'm up to about 130-ish or so right now per day, uh, and that's per real-life day, by the way. However, I think... Oh, there's one! Come back, you! I missed. It's like, you gotta be so right on top of them. That one. And then they move. Like, they have the ability to just, like, climb any terrain elevation change. <laughs> They'll just, like, randomly teleport above and beyond, uh, above and below things. So it's a little hard sometimes to actually get the animals. Oh, I saw him over here. Where'd he go? I'm trying to get a couple elk, though. And I'm not, uh, I haven't really put much into my hunting skill other than the ability to, oh wow, there's a, there's a whole bison over here. Huh. Okay. That was strange. I don't think I actually collected him. But then he just disappeared. Oh, I see him. Hey, hey, elk, elk. Oh, and the frame rates are re Wow, they're everywhere! I'm bound to hit at least a couple. There we go. Oh, come on, I know I hit him. There's one. Got him. Come here! I want another. If I- I, I want to get three elk if I can. I've only got about 32 arrows, though. So that may not happen. They were everywhere, though. Where'd this guy go? I mean, I've got at least one. Oh, there's one. Come here. Stop running. One. There. Got him. It's a little... It's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little goofy, the hunting. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's alpha. So I guess it's kind of to be expected that there's going to be some weird stuff like that going on. Either way, we've got two elk. I'd like to get one more, and then I think we'll head over to Generic B's shop. All right, guys, I am back. It's night, and we're gonna head over to Generic's shop. I've been hunting for a while. I actually got nine elk, um, which is maybe a few more than I should have killed, but eh, whatever. It'll last us for a while. We won't have to go hunting or anything for a while. So this is Uncle Jenny's 100% organic and free-range grill house, where he sells food. Um, and the way that this works is you go to the store, and you put in what he's buying over here, and I've got nine elk to trade, and then you choose what you want from over here, and I want these campfire stews. These things are amazing. Um... Uh, and I'm gonna get 15 of the... Oh, he's actually only got 14. Okay, we'll get a couple of those and then some... Three-charged sausage, I guess. Can I carry those? Let's see. 14. Those are half. Yeah, I should be able to carry all that. There we go. So now he is sold out of the Campfire Sues. I bought him out completely. Uh, and then, when we use that, that'll have a very positive effect on our overall skill gain. So, uh, our skill points. So that's going to be very useful. Now, going back to the um, Community Resource Center, I've been working on that. I'm doing some serious work there, actually. And I've got some other things done, too. I managed to level up my, um, I think it's my metalworking skill or something, so I can smelt iron ingots now. And I was able to use that to get a sawmill, although I haven't actually had the occasion to use it yet. I've got it set up in my house. We'll go take a look at that in a minute. But then on the Community Resource Center, 
Um, all the floors on the inside I have as wood now. So the first floor is essentially done. We are The first floor is complete. Uh, now I'm working on the second floor, and we've got this kind of awkward, weird staircase over here because there's some bugs with the way that stairs place, and um, <laughs> this is the, the only thing I could come up with that works that also looks halfway decent. So essentially, this is going to be the second floor entrance right here. You'll go through a door, and then we'll have rooms uh, around and all that kind of stuff. And I'm thinking the second floor I'm going to dedicate to crafting stations. So we'll have, like, uh, your research st your research table, your sawmill, your uh, carpentry bench, your et cetera, et cetera. All that stuff is going to go up here on the second floor for everybody to use. Um, so that's kind of the plan. And it's ba this is basically done as well, other than the fact that I need a door here and I want I need windows to go into all of these uh, these window holes. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically what I'm working on. I have to produce something like 260 roof pieces or something insane like that. <laughs> so, I got some work ahead of me, guys. Um, oh, also, before I forget, we've got this, uh, this road here. I was playing around with that a little bit. I leveled up civic engineering, and I made a road... And you can get carts that can pull relatively large amounts of resources at once. Basically, like a little bit under a double chest, uh, or a little bit under a chest worth of resources all at once. Um, they're a little buggy, but they work, I guess. Uh, so I did that as well. And then also the sawmill in here. Yeah, right here. I've got this sawmill up and running and attached to my uh, my carpentry table, so I can make lumber now. Um, which I'm thinking I might unlock paper milling so I can make paper, because I'm going to get this wood pulp as a, uh, a byproduct of making lumber, so that's probably a good idea. Then I can just turn it right into paper right away. Um, but I have a lot of work to do. I need to get that community resource center up and running. Uh, I need to get all the roof done. I'm going to have to chop down a ton of trees for that uh so it's gonna take me a little while but let me get to it guys and i will come right back to you all right guys i am back and the second floor is up and running we've got all sorts of good stuff up here we have our uh, our roof all in place uh i put in a bunch of these kind of modern windows uh i think they're called like advanced uh, i think they're actually called modern wood windows or something like that um, yeah, modern wood windows. I put in a bunch of these guys. Uh, I added in all of the crafting stations that I have. Um, I have a few more that are in the process of being made. I'm, I'm still adding, uh, a Wainwright table, a tailoring table, and something else. Um, what was it? Let's see, a Wainwright table, a butchery table. That's the other one that I'm making. Uh, those are gonna take a while though. You can see an hour just for the table, the tailoring table, which is a little crazy. Um, but I want to work on getting paper research unlocked. Uh, and the reason that I wanna do that is because now that I have access to a sawmill, um, I'm gonna be producing a lot of wood pulp and that basically gets used to make paper, and I don't think anyone has actually unlocked paper research yet, so um, I'm going to work on that and get that done right meow. So I've got a bunch of wood in here. I can convert that into lumber right here. So we'll do that. That's going to give me 100 wood pulp and 20 lumber. Let's just, uh, before I do that, let's just check the research station. I'm pretty sure for the paper book... Yeah, I need 20 lumber and 40 wood pulp. So that will produce... Uh, now I'm lost in my own thing. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so that'll produce everything I need. If we go and make... 20 lumber. There we go. Order. So we'll get that going. That'll be processing our lumber. And when that's done, we'll be able to unlock a paper 
research book for everybody to use. Um, I also put a chest right here for skill books. I think I'm going to redo this. I think I'm going to have one chest for books and then one chest for scrolls. Because there's all these skill scrolls as well that people have accidentally created. And as far as I know, there's no way in the game to, like, delete items. Like, if you have a scroll or something that you just want to get rid of, I don't think there's any way to do that. Uh, there's no way to make stuff like throw it in the ground and let it despawn or just, like, delete it from your inventory or or anything like that. Um, and there's a, an interesting bug <laughs> in the game where whenever I set down this wood cart, I get a deed for the wood cart. So I have seven deeds now <laughs> and I can't get rid of them because there's no way to delete items in the game um, so we may have to make like a storage area for our our deeds <laughs> which, which is kind of amusing uh, to say the least but hmm excuse me uh, but that's kind of what I'm working on there now I also need another chest I think do I have more Logs? Not in here, I don't. What about over here? I've got three. I need six? No, I need eight for a chest. Uh, do I have any in here? Nope. Nope, I am pretty much out of wood, it seems. Uh, oh, the carpentry table is done. Sweet. So we can take that. And let's just grab it. There we go. And let's actually take these logs with us because I may have a little bit of lumber up in the community resource center that I can use to make another chest uh, to put up there next to the research table. I think I do, in fact. Let's just take a look and find out. Um, Logs in this one? Aha! See, I know my own thing. Oh yeah, there we go. We got plenty. Okay, awesome. So we'll just take that upstairs to where the, the carpentry table is. And I'm going to make myself another chest. Uh, in fact, you actually do that right here in this regular crafting bench. So I want one storage chest. There we go. And then I'm thinking the Wainwright table is, is kind of used to make um, like roads and stuff like that. So I think it probably makes the most sense to put it right here next to the masonry table. Um, you can see it's all like ramps, roads, carts, things like that. I think it probably makes the most sense to put it right here. Uh, so we'll put it in there and that should be available then. And yep, meets the room requirements. So that's all working properly the way it should be. Good, good, good. And then when this chest is done, I think I'll put it over here in this corner and then we'll put skill scrolls in one and uh, skill books in the other. Um, let's see, how is this coming along? Are you almost done? Yeah, pretty close. I think it takes like six seconds to make a thing. So let's just do, uh, let's see, you need to go in here. Oh. Oh, the, I, I, oh. I'm, I'm, I can only carry so much. <laughs> That's all right. We'll toss those. Come on now. Do it, it, it. There we go. Uh, let's put that in here. In private storage. And then we'll grab as much of it as we can carry. And we'll put the rest of that over here uh split the split item stack thing is bugged so i can't just like take the amount i want and call it good which is a little annoying but eh ooh can i build like ooh okay so that's a thing i can build using lumber directly Okay, that's probably going to be something we'll have to play around with. Um, see if we like building with lumber better. I have a feeling I'm going to like the lumber better. I think it looks better than the logs. And we might not get some of these kind of derpy corners, like um, like right here. 
this looks a little derp. Looks a little weird. Um, so we may be able to kind of work around that if we use lumber instead as our primary building material. But we'll have to see. Uh, let's go ahead and make the... What? I'm two lumber short? What do you mean I'm two lumber short? Can you not pick lumber back up? When you break it? Oh, that would be super annoying. Luckily, there happens to be two logs in here in public storage that I can use. Um, what did I do with those? Did I not take... Oh, I put them into my private storage. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Here we go. Alright, put those in here. Make me... Two more lumber. There we go. Somehow I managed to derp that up. I don't know. Either way, it's not really important. Uh, let's put that chest down. And then I'm going to get all these moved over. I'll get the paper mill up and... Or the, uh, the paper skill scroll up and made and ready to go. Um, I should probably check. How long is that actually going to take? Paper... Three hours. Ouch. Okay, so you may not see that done by the end of this episode, but you will see it done by the end of the end of next episode, because that one's... Whew. That's a... That's a bit. <laughs> that's quite a bit of time. Um, Alright, we've got our... Storage lumber over here. We'll grab our wood pulp. Toss you into there. Is there anything else that actually needs wood pulp other than the paper? Looks like just the paper, as far as I can tell. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that ordered. That's going to take three hours to research, so as I said, you won't see it done by the end of this episode. But, that's alright. It'll work. It'll get the job done. Um... So yeah, we got the, uh, I, I'm gonna call this the Community Crafting Center. So we got the Community Resource Center on the first floor, or the ground level, and then on the second story up there, this is the crafting. I'm also considering adding a basement, uh, which would have mortared stone floors, and then you could put things like the kiln and the bloomery and some of those things that require mortared stone and brick uh, as their room requirements. You could put some of that stuff in there, which could be really useful. Uh, but guys, unfortunately, I am out of time for this episode. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.